Tech Ambrosia is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. With actual DDR4. So, uh, this should be a little bit faster than the first years. I haven't tested this thing yet. Um, bought it from a recycler on eBay for $50, and uh, I think it's probably going to be fine really, for, for what it needs to be. So we're going to put one of these in it. I found this <laughs> somehow for $20, uh, also on eBay. Uh, it was listed as not working with the description of uh, the card produces video, but the computer it's plugged into can't use its keyboard and mouse. I feel like there's probably something else wrong with that PC and not with the card, so I took a get. I took a took a chance on the card. And I have tested this, and it does actually work. Well, mostly. We'll see in a minute. So, how do we get the big, mean, power-sucking GPU into the tiny OEM office PC? Well, we use one of these, a death adapter. This is a dual SATA to single PCI Express 8-pin adapter. Don't ever use these. <laughs> we should be okay, and here's why I think we're going to be okay. Um, you gonna focus on me? There we go. We're gonna take a quick tour of the Optipl Optiplex 7050. To get into it, you just pull this, it stays in place, and then open the case uh, this way. There we go. Open the case that it's supposed to stay in place. Pull this off. This part opens outwards this way. To do that though, you need to pop these three little latches to get the front of the case off. And it, it cantilevers off. You can see it's got, um, it's got little cantilevers here so that it uh, rotates off of the front of the case. So once that's out of there, and you can see, like, we've got, we've got room for another drive-by in here. Once that's out, there's no lever to pull to, like, release this. You just give it a grab, and it opens. And there it is. Now you're inside. You can see everything in here. And honestly, it's not that bad of a place to be. Let me, let me pop you off of the tripod here with, we can take a look. You may have noticed this down here. You'd be right to notice it. That is uh, an NVMe, PCI Express NVMe, by the way, slot. And yes, you can you can size it for a 22, uh, 2242, or you've got this toolless connector that you can swap for a 2280. So you can put a real PCI Express uh, SSD in this thing. You've got four expansion slots. You have an X1 nearest to the processor. Uh, the blue slot that's labeled X4 is actually an X16 slot. It is electrically X16 as well, so that's where our graphics card's gonna go. Next to it is a conventional PCI, and then the actual X4 slot, which is physical X16, is the black slot on the left there. The power supply, of course, is, you know, proprietary Dell nonsense. We get some of the power for the drives off of the motherboard through a voltage regulator. Uh, voltage regulation system over here, but we also have a dedicated line that comes out of the power supply up over here. Pulls around, brings this dedicated SATA power here. So we've got some options, uh, which is good. We've got two different places we can get SATA power from, so we're not pulling all of our 110 watts straight out of, uh, out of one set of wires. Now obviously Paying $50 for this on eBay means it doesn't come with a hard drive, but we do come with 8 gigs of RAM. Through the magic of mixed brand memory, I've got another 8 gigs that I can throw in this thing. So, let's put this thing back together and get some benchmarks done.
So let's uh, try and fit this in there. It's definitely going to work. Ta -da! Look at that. What is the likelihood that this is actually going to fit in here? Oh, maybe. But if we put this in here, get the SATA cable out of the way. It's in the slot. Oh my gosh, I think it might actually just fit. Oh my god, it fits! What? <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. Oh my god. This shouldn't work. <laughs> Now we need power. We need power for our death adapter. So that's going to plug in here. I think that'll still... Wow, that's still going to clear it. I'm amazed. Okay, so we've got... SATA power up here. I think I'll just grab. Just like that. And we've got SATA power over here. And also just... Oh my god. That's so wrong. Oh my god, I don't even have to trim the thing. That's so wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> this should not work. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, let's... Oh, right. I need to move my... I need to move my video connection to the discrete card. Where did I put... And powering on. Things are booting up. Oh, we've got monitor. <laughs> uh, excellent. Oh no. Bad system config info. Interesting. Never seen that one. Let's see if it'll just reboot. Come on. I think I'll just reinstall Windows. Seems to be what people are recommending. Okay, we'll do that. What happened to the SSD? Uh, well, I guess that would be why it Gave me the bad system config error. Okay, uh, we're gonna reopen this thing and see what's going on with it. Why doesn't it see the SSD? I mean, other than it being starved for power. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Everything, absolutely everything. All right, well, let's uh, plug our power back in. Cool. Okay. Power button. Nothing. Is it not going to? Are 
I'm not really gonna be like this. It really is gonna be like this. What if I, okay, it might actually let me. No, it's fine. Okay, sure. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Sure thing. Yeah, okay. Let me grab uh, ATI drivers or AMD drivers. Oh. I think Windows gave us some automatic drivers. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have to reboot this thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to reboot this thing and then try the driver install again because Windows decided to put its own drivers in mid-install. That's great. Thanks, Windows. Let's reboot it. Positive, I can make that fit better. It's season. Season RX five seventy. It's like we might be getting Windows updates presently, but uh, I'm gonna try that driver install again. <laughs> this is so stupid. There we go. Ta da! Let's give this thing a reboot and uh, see what we get for benchmark scores. So we'll go in here again and we'll deselect everything except for game test 2 and game test 3 because we just need the frame per second, frames per second scores of those. Let's see if it works! Let's see if it works! That looks like it's working. That's like 1500 frames per second. Oh, that's so stupid. I love it. No way. No way. The coil wine, by the way, is unreal. There's so much coil wine. I don't know if you're hearing it. I don't know if it's coming through. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you can hear it at all, but it's, oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, this 
this is so stupid. I love this. Fans are ramping up. Oh boy. Stuff's getting warm. Warmer than it's ever meant to be. It completed it. It completed it. Okay, so that gives us <laughs> so stupid. I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 1100 FPS in Battle of Proxicon and 900 FPS in Trolls Lair. Okay, well, just for completeness sake, you know, I'll run the CPU benchmark as well, but I, I don't think, I don't think this really matters. That's uh that's pretty definitive. <laughs> that is pretty definitive. And the nice part about running Cinebench R10 is, one, it gives you ridiculous score numbers. It's fantastic. You get lots of points, no matter what you run this on. Um, but also, the test doesn't take super long to complete. Like, this isn't Cinebench, you know, 2024. You're not going to be sitting here for, like, 30 minutes waiting for it to finish a test. It just, it just goes. The nice part about it. I don't, I don't think this will be faster, but maybe relying on the internal graphics makes the CPU slower? I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's how Intel integrated graphics work. I'm pretty sure, but I guess we'll see. You don't know until you test. The primary reason I say just click the do all tests button is, you know, it just does this all automatically. You just get up, go get a cup of coffee while it runs the tests. When you get back, you get your scores. No biggie. Now, I don't remember what the CPU scores were last time. I just recorded them. I just, you know, Hit record on the capture card, and uh, they are what they are. Um, that is, that is less of a multiprocessor speed up. It was three point three four times before, I think. Um, but I don't know if those scores are higher or lower. Um, I guess I'll put that on the screen. Here, there's the scores. Now. It's time to do something silly with this thing. <laughs> 